Hey everybody, Randy Kurtz here for Bass Musician and this month we're going to talk about left hand issues. So with the left hand, what we're primarily talking about are going to be problems with the wrist or stemming from the wrist, pain in the wrist which can go into the hand and can cause numbness and or tingling or go up into the forearm causing soreness and tightness in these muscles. So what this is caused by is usually an over uh, flexion or extension and this comes from repeating movements over and over again which is what you're doing when you're fretting and playing with the left hand obviously. So what we want to do is try to keep the wrist in as neutral a position as possible meaning more like this rather than overly flexed or overly extended. So when I say this I don't mean keeping the wrist rigid and not moving or tight because we certainly want to avoid that but again trying to keep it from uh, going into too much flexion or too much extension. Now how that can happen is when we're playing on the neck if we have the thumb up too high as we're going up the neck we can put the uh, wrist in too much of a position of extension or if it's too low and we're going up it will be in too much of a state of flexion. So we want to avoid that. A good way to do that is to start by keeping the thumb more in the middle of the neck. In the middle of the neck you're going to have more of a neutral position in the wrist and as you go up the neck you'll keep that position by keeping the thumb in the middle. There's certainly factors like hand size and finger spread and things like that but that's a good way to keep the thumb in a place where it's going to keep the wrist more or less in as neutral a position as possible. Now there's certainly going to be times where you have to to play a lick to go into those flexion or extension places. That's okay. You just want to try and come back to and keep that wrist in a neutral position as often as possible. So if you wear the base too high, you may have too much flexion in the wrist. If you wear it too low, you may have too much extension. These are things to think about as well. Uh, a good way to uh, approach this too is to keep the thumb in sort of the middle of the neck and allow it to rotate. So when you're playing, for example, on the upper strings like the E, uh, it's down lower. And then when you start to go down towards the G, the thumb rotates along with the wrist to accommodate the section of the neck you're playing at. So these are things to think about. Uh, there are stretches you can do for this. Please see future installments of, uh, of our video and lecture series uh, from Bass Musician in which I show different stretches and exercises you can do for that. Again, you can reach me at Dr. Kurtz, D-R-K-E-R-T-Z, at Dr. Kurtz, D-R-K-E-R-T-Z, dot com. My website is www.drkertz.com, where you can get my book, and also I do Skype consultations as well. So, Randy Kurtz for Bass Musician, signing off, see you next time.